you've now learned how to get to the CRILL databases by going to the SMS Virtual Library, clicking on the icon, going to Grades 4, 6 through 12, and scrolling down to your databases. So now that you've chosen which database you want to use, it's time to find information. You can do most of the same things in every database, but how you do it and what it looks like depends on the database. So we're going to look at Britannica and Explora side by side. For some reason, when I click on Britannica, I then have to choose which level I want to use, so I'm going to click on Young Adults. Now in any database, there are two basic ways of finding information, browsing and searching. These are also the two ways that you can find books in the library, just saying. If you know what you want, you can search for it by typing in the search bar. When you search for something, you should use only keywords that sum up with sum up what you're looking for. So say I want to know more about a certain period in art history called Impressionism. I'm going to type in the name of that period, but I'm also going to type in the word art to specify that I'm talking about art history and not like impressions of celebrities or something else. And as I type, I'm given suggestions. Sorry, I didn't type Impressionism. I'm given suggestions, which can be really helpful. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Impressionism art. And after I type in my search terms, I'm given a list of results. You are always able to filter or refine those results to better find what you need. So in Explora, after I type in Impressionism art, I can filter my results here on the left hand side. I can narrow the date of publication, so when the article was written. So if I want something that was written this century, I can change this first date to 2000, for instance. Um, I can also change my source type. For example, encyclopedias usually have more general information, while academic journals and magazines usually talk about a specific topic. And then a biography is about a person. So you can think about what do you need and then choose the appropriate sources. And finally, Explorer lets me choose my reading level by choosing the Lexile range, which that could be helpful. Now, I can do many of the same things in Britannica, but it looks differently. Instead of specifying a Lexile level, I can choose a reading level 1, 2, or 3, and that changes my results. And the results list defaults to showing articles, but I can also choose to look at images or videos or by clicking on more, I can choose to see dictionary entries, magazines, or primary sources. A very cool feature that Britannica has is web's best sites. So this is a list of websites and links to those websites that the editors of Britannica have reviewed and recommend. Both databases have advanced search features, which can be really helpful, but I don't have time to go into right now. So I really encourage you to explore those on your own, especially if you get stuck. So that's how you search. Let's talk about browsing. Browsing is great when you're first starting your research or are trying to get ideas. So the home page of Explora shows different categories and then topics underneath those categories. So if I click on more under arts and literature, I'm taken to an alphabetical list of people and topics that are related to art and literature. Britannica, on the other hand, starts by having you choose a format that you want to explore. Once I choose articles, which is probably mostly what you're going to be working with, I'm given broad topics. If I click on society, I have article suggestions, but I also have a list of more specific topics. And if I click on one of those, I'm given even more specific topics. So I can click keep clicking and narrowing down until I find what I want. I want to show you one last technique to find information. So I'm going to go back to my results for when I search for Impressionism art. And in Explora, this only works if I look at the HTML version, not the fancy PDF version, just the HTML. So I'm going to click on the HTML full text. And then over here on the left, I see find similar results. And so Explora will search for me to find different articles that are related to the one I was just using. In Britannica, I can do something similar. 
I can find an article that I like and it's helpful. And I can click on hyperlinks within that article to find more information about Monet or painting. Or I can also come up to this tab that says related. And when I click on that, I'm given a list of topics that are related to the article that I was just using. So it's a good way to find more information after you find something helpful. It might take a little bit of work, but you can find the answers to your questions using the databases. Don't just take the first article that you see and call it a day. Use these things that we talked about to find something that's really going to help you.